Hey guys, thank you for watching the Slat Rock channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. And if you've already done so, just make sure that it's still active. Today we present you with 13 WWE superstars who were arrested for the craziest crimes. Number 13. The Big Show the Big Show may be one of WWE's longest tenured superstars, but before he made it to WWE, the Giant nearly risked his entire future. After drinking far too much liquor at a motel, the future WWE Champion wreaked havoc, much to the distress of both the staff and guests. After reportedly exposing himself to a female member of the staff, the Colossal Star was arrested, and we imagine it took many police officers to book the 500-pound star. If nothing else, this brush with the law did give the world Big Show's infamous mugshot, in which he is unable to keep his eyes open. Fortunately for Show, the charges were later dropped, and the Giant went on to have an epic career joining the WWF in 1999. Number 12. Andre Hart Andre Davis may not have been a champion in the WWE, though he certainly goes down in history for all the wrong reasons. Impressing everyone under the ring name Andre Hart, no relation to the Canadian family, Hart received a contract from Vince McMahon, which was quickly rescinded once a medical exam found Hart to be HIV positive. Though fully aware of his HIV status, Hart returned to the Indies and slept with dozens of women and infected them all. Arrested in 2011, Hart was sentenced to 32 years in prison the following year and is currently incarcerated right now. Hart has apologized to his victims and vowed to raise awareness of the dangers of sex addiction and HIV when he gets out, though by the time that happens, he won't have much life left to go. Number 11. Ken Patera Before he joined wrestling, Ken Patera was an accomplished weightlifter and could easily throw his opponents around the ring with ease. But one showcase of the powerhouse outside of the ring came on April 6, 1984, when he was refused service at a McDonald's. In the company's defense, this was after hours, but this little tidbit didn't stop Patera from picking up a chunk of rock and throwing it through a window, though he claimed it was done by a disgruntled ex-employee. Patera probably didn't help his legal defense when an officer arrived at the scene, as Patera assaulted the cop. Later joining the WWF, Patera's time with the company was cut short when he was found guilty and sentenced to two years in prison. Number 10. Hardbody Harrison Unless you saw some very specific matches in WCW in the late 1990s, you've probably never heard of Hardbody Harrison. To be fair, you haven't missed much, as Harrison was a poor wrestler and unsurprisingly didn't get snatched up when Vince McMahon bought the company in 2001. Six years later, though, Harrison's name came up again, as he was charged with the false imprisonment of eight women whom he used as sex slaves. Representing himself in legal proceedings, Harrison denied the claims and even suggested he was helping them, providing them with wrestling training. Unsurprisingly, this didn't work, as among other issues in his story, no one in their right mind would go to him for training. After laughable defense, Harrison was convicted of all charges and sentenced to life in prison. Number 9. Vader Before his death in June 2018, Vader was known for being one of the stiffest wrestlers of all time. In fact, the story goes that in WCW, younger stars would show up to tapings, see that they would be facing Vader, and would flee the building in fear. Not only was the Mastodon known for being scary, he was also known for his short temper. An example of this came when the super heavyweight was in the WWF in the late 1990s and was in an interview with The Undertaker. When the unsuspecting journalist asked about wrestling being fake, the dead man remained calm, though Vader flipped into a rage. Assaulting the interviewer, Vader was arrested and fined $164, presumably because no one dared fining him more. You know you've got anger issues when the Lord of Darkness is the friendly one. Number 8. Scott Hall Scott Hall's issues with substance abuse are well known, and these issues have led to multiple arrests. 
One of his most shocking brushes with the law came in 1983, when the future Hall of Famer was involved in an altercation outside a Florida nightclub. When his attacker drew a gun, Hall had to wrestle for the weapon and ended up shooting the man. Arrested and charged with second-degree murder, the case was later dropped due to a lack of evidence. Vowing to turn his life around, Hall would join the world of wrestling and would find his way to the WWF in 1992. Though Hall has gotten his life back on track thanks to the intervention of DDP, he did speak in a recent interview about the attack, saying it haunts him to this day. Number 7. Emma When WWE's Emma was fired on June 30, 2014, the wrestling fan community weren't pleased. The Australian had been arrested in Hartford, Connecticut for allegedly stealing an iPad case earlier that day, though the superstar claimed she had simply forgotten to pay for the case. This certainly seemed more likely, as with a WWE salary, it seems laughable that she'd need to shoplift. After much fan outrage over such a strict punishment for what seemed like a happy accident, the company did rehire her later that week. After serving some community service, Emma returned to the ring, becoming a dominant force in NXT before being released in 2017. Perhaps this was for the best, as the botched Emma Lena gimmick left fans cringing and the Aussie has become one of ROH's top women. Number 6. Billy Joe Travis Billy Joe Travis was arrested for unpaid child support, and though that isn't the most exciting of crimes, his actual arrest got everyone talking. Working for a Memphis-based promotion in 1996, Travis had already established himself as a huge star, meaning there was no reason he wasn't able to pay. Being arrested on live TV, the promotion decided to turn the whole affair into a storyline, including filming Travis being dragged out of the building and being placed in a squad car. Though Travis held several championships in the territory, including being a former CWA tag team champion with a rookie Scott Steiner, it's probably his arrest that the star is best remembered for. Number 5. Ric Flair It's no secret that Ric Flair is a bit of a party animal and no stranger to getting intoxicated. One of the Nature Boy's most shocking escapades came in 2002, when the WWE was traveling back to the US after a tour in the United Kingdom, in what would later be deemed the plane ride from hell. During the historic flight, Flair became so drunk he stripped naked before doing his trademark strut while trying to dance with flight attendants. Unsurprisingly, this did not please the crew, as the attendants later filed a sexual harassment lawsuit against Flair, claiming the dirtiest player in the game had forced their hands on his genitals. Though Flair denied these accusations, the case was settled out of court for an undisclosed amount. Number 4. New Jack While he may be best remembered for the infamous mass transit incident in the original ECW, New Jack seemingly outdid himself in 2004. After the extreme promotion went under in 2001, the original gangster would bounce around the independent circuit before finding himself in the Thunder Wrestling Federation. During this show, New Jack took on William Lane, though during their match, Jack snapped and pulled out a knife from his ring gear. Shocking everyone watching, Jack proceeded to stab Lane nine times before being arrested and charged with aggravated assault to commit murder. In what may be the luckiest move in wrestling history, Lane later dropped all charges against New Jack after the former ECW star agreed to train him. Number 3. Scott Steiner Scott Steiner may be known for his unique look and very unique promos, but the master of the Steiner recliner has had more than his fair share of legal issues. In January 2001, the genetic freak was arrested during a WCW taping for the most shocking of reasons. During a segment, Steiner inflicted a beating on Christopher Daniels and Michael Modest that left both men a wreck. As an EMT went to check on the duo, Steiner returned to the scene of the crime, attacking the EMT as well. The only problem was that the EMT wasn't an actor but was an actual EMT. Arrested for assault, the case against Steiner was later dropped when the court deemed that Steiner genuinely thought the EMT was part of the show. A lucky escape for the WCW World Champion, though it would have been amazing to see Steiner use one of his classic promos to defend himself in a court of law. 
Number 2. Bo Dallas Bo Dallas has promoted a life full of positivity on screen, but it wasn't that long ago that the former NXT champion found himself on the wrong side of the law. During a tour in 2016, the Bo Leave star was found heavily intoxicated and very disruptive during the company's tour of Mexico. According to eyewitnesses, Dallas had been drinking heavily before the flight, and after taking his seat, began singing songs from The Lion King at the top of his lungs. Those on board clearly didn't appreciate Dallas's impression of Simba as he was kicked from the plane before takeoff. This didn't stop Dallas from raising a fuss, using inappropriate language at Seth Rollins while being escorted out. Video evidence has shown that Dallas was still intoxicated during his arrest, but later calmed down and was cooperative with officers. Number 1. Ming if you ask anybody in wrestling who is the toughest star of all time, they're probably going to tell you Ming. Known as Haku in the WWF, the Tongan is not just known for being tough, but for being downright crazy. When someone once called Ming out for being part of the fake wrestling world, the superstar showed just how tough he could be when he bit the man's nose clean off. As you can imagine, this quickly got the attention of cops, though Ming was able to hold his own, fighting off eight, yes, eight, officers. Even being pepper sprayed didn't slow down the powerhouse, who simply closed his eyes and continued brawling. On another occasion, Ming was arrested by an officer who fared better than the others as he was able to get the superstar in handcuffs. This victory didn't last long though as Ming stared the officer dead in the eyes and snapped the cuffs in half. Long story short, if you're ever in a war, you better pray that Ming is on your side. Well guys, that's our list. Can you think of any other arrests for really crazy crimes that have happened to WWE superstars? If so, drop us a comment below and let us know. If you like this video, don't forget to check out our previous video. 20 Recent Mistakes Fans Completely Missed in WWE Also check out our other high-rated videos by clicking at the upper right-hand corner or down in the description field. If you did indeed like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss a single new video. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, thank you for watching. watching.